Okay, so now what we're going to do is add the script which will to our button to toggle um, our menu open and close. Okay, so let's go ahead. I already have the script here, but what we're going to do is we're going to link to a um, jQuery library. Okay, a little minified version. All right, because we don't need a complete library. All we need is this part of one, which is going to uh, provide the function for, for what it is we're going to do. Okay, so now let's go ahead and what we're going to do is create a toggle like we did in exercise five when we wanted to uh, toggle a button we wanted to toggle something on or off, but we're gonna do it a little different this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a script and we will close our script. Okay, and inside of our script, we're just gonna tab over and we're going to create a function All right, so we're creating our function. And let's see, I'm gonna get rid of this part for the moment. And let's drop down to the, actually, no, let's um, get that back. Let's do this here. Okay, so inside of our function, we will now, let's do, and what we will do is we will call our mobile menu button. Okay, so dot, btn okay so this is our mobile menu button and let's go ahead now and we will add dot click and then function Make sure, okay, on click function. I'm gonna get rid of this. And we'll add our curly brace, like so. And then we'll put our parenthesis, whoops, wrong one, our parenthesis and our semicolon back. So, we're creating a function. This function is taking mobile menu button, mobile menu button, and then on click, we're going to execute the next function, okay? So what we're going to then do, our statement will be dollar sign, and this time we're going to target our ID main nav. So pound sign main nav. And let's go ahead and use our toggle class. and then our parentheses. And we're going to add the class open. Okay, um, single quotes. 
Now, what's important here, I don't believe it really matters if you use double or single quotes, but you should be consistent, okay? So I use single quotes on this particular script. All right, so let's add our semicolon, and I'm not seeing any errors, so I believe we have this correct. Let's go ahead and save and then we will do a quick test. All right, so let's go. I'm going to update just to be sure, and there is our script toggling our ID and adding with the toggle, adding the class. So again, what's happening is in our script, what we're doing is on click. On click is our event. And on the event, we're now creating the function and our statement is we are taking this ID and we're going to toggle the class open onto this ID and toggle the class open off of the ID. So in case you're wondering, this is the jQuery library we're linking to up here, which is out on the web. And if we take a look at our simple mobile menu, we have our main nav. And then this is main nav when we toggle the class open onto it. And for the most part, what we're doing is we're changing the height. And that height is animated because of this transition. Okay. All right, so we have now added our script which toggles our mobile menu open and close. Well, this is perfectly fine, but if we were to change this to landscape and we are dealing with a uh, breakpoint, which is, let's say, more typical of a tablet or a desktop as far as the width, well, we might not want to continue to use a mobile type menu. We might want our menu to lay out across the top or change in some way, which is more uh, typical of a, of, a, of a desktop interface. All right, so we will do that next with a media query.